What's up, everybody? What am I even doing with my life? All right, so the plan is, well, I gotta be completely real with you. I'm a little bit in an off mood because my knee's been bugging me. Um, I had like a routine I did every single day to uh, help recover my knee during December and it was working really well. But right, right around Christmas, I took a few days off from that routine that I did every day, which included a, a wall sits and rolling out and stretching. And uh, my knee felt fine, but then when I worked out the very next day um, and did that motor skill where you saw me doing all those uh, sets of log press, I think I tweaked my knee and now it's uh, really bothering me again. So today my plan is to do something called overload, which basically I'm gonna be uh, t taking um, with a deadlift, for example, taking 100% of my max or at least close. Today I might get it up to 90 and lowering it in about 15 seconds to the floor. And the goal over the next few weeks is to get, to get up to about 110% of my max on the deadlift and just keep that consistent control on the Eastern trick portion of the lift. And for overhead, I'm just gonna do partial lockouts, uh, really heavy. Um, luckily, none of that stuff is gonna put too much stress on my knee. I think deadlifts are gonna be fine. I'm just a little bit nervous for Friday's workout when I uh, go back to doing actual full log presses and need that leg drive. So hopefully by Friday I can get this knee pain gone, or at least uh, functional again. Uh, in the meantime, just lift heavy on deadlifts. So despite my knee issue, I still am gonna, of course, compete. I'm gonna have to push through it somehow. Um, the one thing I have not mentioned is I'm going to be competing in January 19th on the Santa Monica Pier. It's a Arnold qualifying contest. I don't need to do it, but I want to because it's basically in my backyard. It has essentially the same events that are coming up in March, so it'll be good practice. And Arnold Schwarzenegger himself, a childhood hero of mine, is going to be hosting the contest. All right, so right now, I'm getting ready for something called lockout partials. Usually in this phase, I do, um, I just do uh, jerk recoveries, but I'm usually pretty good at dropping under weight. And actually for this log, I might not even do jerks because of my knee, so I'm going to probably go on to uh, powerful push pressing. So at this point, I just need to get my strict pressing up and I'm gonna be doing it from essentially right about my forehead height. The idea is that with leg drive, right about at that height, when my hands are passing my head is when my shoulder pressing power needs to kick in at its maximum. So that's exactly where I'm gonna be training that strict pressing power. What is that? It's a plate. So right now I'm using a ladder bar because the handles are parallel to one another. Uh, basically just mimicking a log press. More weight, but still not enough. What was that pause about? Uh, just to get the lockout, to really feel my upper back, my uh, because a lot of people when they do these, they just stay in this range, and uh, what that happens then is your shoulders get stiff. You want to really promote those arms going back and through, so that way everything's in one line in a column, and that last bit of a pause is just to push the weight back, activate the upper back muscles that really help stabilize the weight in a lockout. So these are SBD straps. They're my, uh, SBD is my favorite supportive equipment company. Uh, I just love these straps because they're so long. I could really wrench them on tight. My wrists are bothering me. It just feels like it just cements them in. Oh, Come on! Let's go! You seem a little down, man. What's up? I am down. Down about the knee. Just feel a little bit low on power today. We'll see. Strength. I think deadlifts will be good. Strength comes from here. My pack? Oh, shoot. I don't do bench press enough for that.
Don't swerve by, let's go! It is a big deficiency of mine, my strict pressing power. It's uh, been a frustration ever since I started Strongman, just trying to get my pressing strength up. And I uh, was really hoping that these partial presses would come along easier today and that I would have been able to put on at least 50 more pounds, but it's one of those days where it's a weight that uh, not too long ago I was strict pressing just from my chest on a barbell for more reps and that was really difficult at a partial range it happens but next week it should come back a lot stronger and it will considering adding more weight just for one rep seeing if I can get it <sighs> Redemption. Here's the real issue. Strict pressing isn't really a strength of mine. And even when I do a barbell press for my chest, I do a little bit of a core whip to get a little bit of a drive out of it. Putting it, those bars up to my forehead is something I haven't done for years because I've relied so heavily on my split jerks and push jerks to pop and drop under the weight. And like I said, because my knee's bothering me, I need a fallback for this competition. I need to be able to, uh, just in case I can't drop under the weight, just be able to push press it up and then drive through. Starting with the weight right at my forehead, pressing it from there is something I, haven't, I have no, really no experience in. And I'm finding out today, I'm a lot weaker in that area than I actually even thought. So it's a big deficiency, a big hole in my strength I'm gonna have to tackle in the next few weeks and uh, blow that strength right up. I was actually able to manage one rep at 375, and now I'm just gonna go down to 315, that weight that I was struggling with, see if I could get it more powerful and quick and uh, get out of my head. Let's go! Easy. So with those uh, partial rack presses done, I'm gonna be moving on to overloaded eccentric deadlifts. So the reason I'm using an axle bar instead of a deadlift bar for the eccentric overload is so that way the bar doesn't bend because I wanna be able to lower this all the way to the floor without losing any of my range. And a deadlift bar, because it bends so much, the weights will uh, come, uh, hit the ground a little bit early. In your prime. I am in my prime, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> When you used to compete, what was your max deadlift? The max in a, in a powerlifting contest is uh, 332 and a half. Pounds? Yeah, pounds. <laughs> One-handed. <laughs> now that's kilograms, you idiot. Loading weights is the hardest part of the workout. Especially if they're 50 kilogram, 110 pound plates. Who picks it back up? I'm gonna unrack it all and pick it back up. Man, I don't see Tom doing this for <laughs> Juicy Mufi. <laughs> Roll strongest cameraman. Go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
How many more sets? Um, anywhere between two to three more sets. That was 900. My goal is in, over the next few weeks to get up to 1,000. And uh, I want to get my back tighter because right there my back's starting to let go. So I need my upper back to stay a lot more tense. I'm ready. You look like you had a better control on that. Tighter back too. Oh, well, can you do this? Yeah, easy. I'll do double O ran on it. Right, let's, go. Let's, let's see. Let's see it. Huh? Two, three, up. Woo! Yeah. Piece of it. Great job, Oat. Nothing. <laughs> With this kind of workout, I straight up pra practically need a team unless I'm ready to uh, expend all that energy taking the plates on, putting the plates back off. So solid pit crew is necessary. And if you get a pit crew, make sure to time them, keep them on pace, have a cattle prod. You might not need to like really nudge them to keep moving. You can't have a lazy pit crew. They gotta be on on point every time. Come on, baby, let's go. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14. Uh, uh, go! Uh, and... Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Oh, uh, let's go, let's go! One, two, three! Uh. Eight seconds, you guys need to be faster! Lock it in, go! Go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh. eight, nine, breaks, breaks, ten, breaks, 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 so I was ripping my skin off my thumbs. They were just grinding against my legs. <laughs> Ouch. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. Simple workout today. I might do some accessories now to help my hamstring butt, hammy butt. So that's it for me. I finished my overload day. Very simple. Next week I'll probably add some more motions in. And uh, at this point I'm just going to hit some rehab work and uh, call it a day. I hate vacuuming. I hate vacuuming. Uh, uh, oh, I gotta get more subscribers. Martinez, we need more toilet paper. You get your own toilet paper. We're world's strongest been finalist. If you're not podium, it doesn't mean anything. Ah!